Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Leaf Three Tiny here, and sorry I'm a little bit late to the party, but I am very excited to bring you my first Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens set review on Ray's speeder right here, the smallest set of the bunch. This set retails for about 20 US dollars, has 193 pieces, and here's a front look at your box. There is the back of the box, and included with this set is one instruction manual with about 43 pages of building. Our first minifigure, of course, here is Rey, and Lego did an incredible job detailing this minifigure. Look at that leg printing, look at that torso printing, I love the Indiana Jones satchel piece right there, I love the staff, and her face print actually looks a good bit like the actress Daisy Ridley, and her hair piece is amazing. I absolutely love that hair piece from the back, you can see it has some really cool buns that I like quite a bit. Her back printing is great as well, she also has a double-sided face, but this minifigure has one exclusive thing. Thing. This brand new mask piece for she rides her speeder. It's a great new mold. It looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, the color doesn't quite match up with her torso printing, which is a pretty big problem. But besides that, it's a great mold, and I just love the look of this Ray minifigure. The one other minifigure included with this set here is Unkar. Unkar, no idea how to pronounce that name's Thug. Now, I have no idea who Unkar slash Unkar is, so this is a really mysterious minifigure, but he looks pretty cool. His torso leg printing is great, but his face print underneath the gray hood right there is really, really cool. And I love his head piece because it's molded onto a gunmetal piece, which is really nice to see. He also has a nice pack printing, so a good minifigure. I just have no idea what's going on with him. Now we can talk about Ray's speeder itself, and I'm going to say the most questionable thing about this set right off the bat, the color. I don't think dark red was the right choice for this speeder. Now, in the trailer, the color is kind of up for some interpretation, and I don't think LEGO has a perfect color in their library for this particular vehicle. Orange might be a little bit too bright, but I think dark red is a little bit too dark. The color I think this speeder should have been is actually a color seen on a couple pieces with this set is this color right here, the Pohatu Burnt orange color. I really would have think that would have been a great color for this speeder. Now, of course, it's a more rare color. They probably don't make a lot of pieces in that color, so I understand the dark red probably to cut down costs, but it just seems like a little bit too dark in my opinion. Please tell me, guys, am I crazy? Should this thing actually be dark red? Dark red does not seem like the right color for this speeder in my opinion, but those are just my thoughts. Color aside, the design of this speeder is awesome it looks so good the shaping right here looks really good besides right there right there this doesn't quite line up that sticks out just a little bit and it bothers me i'm not a big fan of that but besides that they really got the shape of this speeder down this part right here is seven studs high which is an odd number they really work with some great designs back here it looks so good and then the engine details back here are magnificent. LEGO did a great job with all the small little things. These pieces were perfect for this part. These pieces right here were also perfect. These pieces including were also perfect. It just looks really, really good. Now we have kind of an odd play feature right here. You can actually twist on this engine back here and watch this. Those sides of the speeder open up. You can open them up even further, then you can push this crate out and reveal in that crate is actually extra shots for your stud shooter. The stud shooters are located on the side of the speeder right there, and of course they can fire. Unfortunately though, they kind of jet out just a little bit, and it seems like a forced play feature in my opinion, so I'm not a big fan of those, but I understand why LEGO put it in there. On the side of this speeder right here, you have a saw blade piece, a pair of binoculars, and some kind of gun lightsaber thing. I'm not entirely sure what's going on right there. And up top, you actually can put Ray's staff on the side of the speeder as well, which is very cool. And of course, there's a nice seat back here where Ray can sit and control the speeder with a pretty cool sticker control panel. Alright guys, so over it's here on Ray's speeder. I'm not a big fan of the color, and the stud shooters on the side jut a little bit too far, and the little transitioning from the front curve to the side curves isn't great. Besides that, this set is awesome. 193 pieces, $20, the price per piece is perfect. It might be a little bit small for the price, but there's a ton of detail. You get two really good minifigures, some solid playability, and this is going to be an iconic vehicle from the movie, I can tell. So this is a really good $20 Lego set. And for that reasoning, I'm going to give this set here an 8.3 out of 10. Those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like this video, favorite the video, share the video with all your friends. Also, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Please subscribe to this here channel, and I hope to see you guys next time on more Star Wars The Force Awakens set reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.